Hop on the same shit, I wasn't the same When you turn on your back and you change with the fame Now I be chasing they hate, I'm coming They knowin' my name and they see I'm running. I ran to the top of my city, they can't tell me nothing Deposit a bag when I drop, they gon' envy my struggle They think this shit happened, the same that I work for I got out my ass and they thought I rebuttal Show them my channel, they told me to hustle I've been to the bottom, that shit made me humble Running from problems in my head, this shit get exhausted I lose it sometimes when you know what the what is up you guys, the James DTV here, um, I have two Xbox controllers, you guys have seen this one from my vlog, but, um, yeah, this is that wired one, the control, the cable is being plugged into my phone right now, because my, my LG is dying, but, you guys have never seen this one before in my possession, my cousin gave me this when I was staying over there for spring break, because they got a Night Ops camo one, so, um, yeah, they gave me this old one, it's got stick drift in this one, so it thinks it's going up, so I can't really play Minecraft, COD Mobile works with this, um, Need for Speed, I have no issues with those, but I play those on my Motorola, because this is Bluetooth, if you guys have the original Xbox One controller, the one where this piece right here, this like kind of indented piece was a separate piece of plastic and it was shiny, it's not Bluetooth, but if it was like this where this part is one piece and then this is a separate top, this top part is separate but this is like connected and it's not those two parts were connected, I actually don't even, I don't even know how to explain it, but all I know is if it looks like this, but if it's black, but it looks like exactly like this, it, it's got Bluetooth. But if it has, if this part right here where it's indented is a separate piece and it's shiny, glossy black, it does not work. But yeah, um, we're going to kind of do a little bit of a comparison. Plus, I may, I don't know, still don't know if I'm going to do it, but I might do a shell swap on this. Because my cousin also gave me the box, the old box to the new controller, the Night Ops Camo one. Because, you know, I collect a lot of product boxes and stuff. You know, this stuff is cool. It's a hobby I have. Um, I'm, they sell the shell and everything with the buttons on it. Third-party ones on Amazon. But I did see a couple bad reviews, so I'm kind of nervous. But um, I am going to try it. And then I'm going to get the tools. And I'm probably going to see if there's anything stuck in this joystick. Because I've already tried the rubbing alcohol methods. Nothing. But we're going to we're gonna compare the quality of these. And the size. The size. So they are about the same shape, except on this one, you know, it kind of like curves like that. This is completely flat on the top. Uh, this is actually a little lower than it is on there. Uh, these buttons, the, the letters are just painted on, then they put like some clear coat or something over it to protect it from scratching off. This one is, I like these buttons because like it's actually clear on the, on the top part and everything, but the bottom is black. And then they have like the raised letters in there. I like how they did that. And then this is black, but when you turn it on, boom, it like glows. Yeah, and then also I did make my own battery pack out of two double A's. Um, it actually works. It holds them together, which is good. Um, I am going to get like, once I get this one fixed, or if I get a new one, I'm going to get like a new... Um, I'm going to get one of those rechargeable ones from Power A, which is the company that actually made my controller. My other controller, my black one. They're the ones who made my black controller. Um, I'm going to get I'm going to get the the dock for it cuz my cousin has that one, but it's a two controller. I'm getting the one controller cuz I only have one wireless controller and it has a hole in the custom back, but it still has the Xbox logo, which is cool. But it has the hole in the back. And then you set it down on the dock and it'll charge the pack while you're um, not using it. There are other ones that have a micro USB connector on it so you can charge it that way. But I think it's more efficient with a dock. I'll show you guys when I'm actually just putting my controllers in when I'm not using them. I have another controller in there but it's my little VR one that I got for my birthday. I may just have to lift up my, um, my tripod. This is kind of hard to do because the bottom one is very hard to get out. Um. There we go. Now, um, look at this. So I just put this one in like this. I put that one in the same way. It just holds my controllers, which is pretty cool. Um, I do like doing it like this sometimes, but um, I do just wish I had like some controller holder that works with the Xbox One controllers. Yeah, and then um, design or well, build quality. That's the trigger on that one, the original controller. Higher quality, and then the D-pad. Tactile buttons. This one. They're not tactile. 
Well, also the X, Y, A, and B buttons on both controllers are not tactile. Neither are these ones. Um, but then the pressing down on the joystick. That's the original controller, the third party. Very cheap. These are re these controllers are really light since all they are are wired controllers. This little Xbox logo doesn't glow. There's a little light below it from what you guys saw in my vlog. And then this one does glow. It's got the pairing button. Yeah, I think it is a little chunkier. Or maybe they're the same. No, they're the same. They really wanted you to feel like you're holding a real Xbox controller. Just so you can have that experience. Yeah, no. Um, This one I am going to open up. And then, yeah, it's broken right there. Which I feel like that something got stuck in the stick. And that's why it drifts. So I am going to... um fix that and um, get the tools for it because I actually managed to pop these off um, the little pieces on this side I didn't realize that they were kind of easy to pop off but you kind of got to be careful with these or oh shoot I think I just broke another part nope never mind yeah they got like these weird star bit ones on it um, with like a hole in the middle so you can go on Amazon for about five bucks and get a tool kit for it um, you just open this up and then there's a hidden screw which I don't like about these ones um there's a hidden screw right where my finger is at like right where I'm rubbing it I don't know if you guys can see like the indent now yeah there is a hole for a screw and it says hello from Seattle on the controller which is cool yeah it's a wireless controller for Xbox one I can't believe these are like from I can't believe I live in the state that Microsoft's like main building is in like that's the coolest thing about living here in Washington even though I don't live in Redmond I live in Wenatchee, but still, I live in the same state that Bill Gates does. And then another one of my favorite YouTubers, Everything Apple Pro, lives in Vancouver. So, not Vancouver, Canada, Vancouver, Washington. It's pretty cool. A lot of people that, like, I look up to, they're from Washington. Like, Plain Rock 124 he was born in Yakima, from what FamousBirthdays.com was telling me. I was like, what? Why are so many YouTubers I watch from, like, Washington or something? And then, um... David Blast, he lives in Washington. I was like, what? And then Tim Blast, David's brother, younger brother who's about my age or something. I think he's a year older than me, but he's also from Washington. But yeah, David Blast has his own house now. Um, he's married. Congratulations. Like, I remember David just doing a bunch of challenges and stuff on his channel. He doesn't really upload anymore. He has been featured in a couple of Tim's videos, which is good. At least we can still see David sometimes. But yeah, um... Tim Glass does a lot of Fortnite streams. Um, pretty cool. By the way, once I get my own phone plan and I get like a MacBook or something, I will be probably doing like VR gaming streams. I don't know. I got to get more subscribers first. Yeah, um, these controllers are nice. I like the Xbox controllers, like the factory ones, because like the way they fit in my hands, it feels a lot better than holding the Power A controller. Actually, they feel about the same, but no, just really light. I don't like that. I like this. It feels more heavier, and it feels more premium. Yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, oh, shoot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, oh, wait, hold on. First, I have a monitor now. Um, new computer tower for my laptop, new keyboard. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Okay, traumatized. This is what I wake to. This basic, I've been on the line.